cycles of petroleum revenues for January up to June 2022. I will give you hard copy and evidence. And Chairman, it's significant to know that the PIA. Honorable Minority Leader, is that uh, the item referred to in your list of uh, documents to be tendered as number 12? That's a PIA report in 2022. Yes, absolutely. Okay, so, clerks, take note of that. So, we we'll tender it in. You can give the exhibit a title. And this was a key findings of uh, Chairman, uh, distinguished members of this uh, committee key findings of uh, PIAC, and it reads, following the acquisition of 7% interest in the Jubilee and 10 fields of GMPC in 2021, later ceded to a subsidiary, uh, that's a Jubilee holding, J-O-H-L, made its first lifting of 944,164 BBIS under on the Jubilee field in 2022 amounting to 100 million US dollars. Then the emphasis of the committee is, and for my own purposes, this amount was not paid into the PHF. So this 100 million, the constitution requires that it's public money. The fact that you are getting it from oil revenue, it says that pay it into the consolidated fund. Now, while we are concerned and we think that the minister did not act in a manner responsible enough, is the fact that this money was set aside in the name of Jubilee Holding, which itself has not been captured as a GMPC subsidiary as a report to Parliament. So where is this hundred million? It's in breach of Article 176 of the 1992 Constitution. Chairman, further there, and we... Wait, wait a minute. Go, go, clarify this. Um, that money, how many millions? Hundred. Hundred million, million U.S. dollars. Hundred million. What, what are you saying specifically? It not paid into the petroleum holding not fund. Not that it cannot be accounted for, but that it wasn't paid into the... Chairman, it is to be accounted for in the petroleum holding fund and into the consolidated fund. Mr. Minority Leader, I will be grateful if you listen to my questions. You are not saying that it's not, it can't be accounted for. You are saying that... Those are your words. I'm quoting Piak as saying that this money was not paid into the petroleum holding fund. Which are my words? You said those are my words. Which are my words? You said it cannot be accounted or something. I'm asking you. I mean, is it a fact that the point you are making is that it is not accounted for altogether or it is not being paid into a specific account? Piak is making an observation, not that, my observation. Yeah, Piak is making an observation. And their observation is that this amount was not paid into the petroleum holding fund. That holds it in breach of the Petroleum Revenue Management Act at 815. I well, I'm asking this question because I thought we all know that GMPC has something to do with this matter. That's why I was wondering if it was the case that the money cannot be accounted for or it be <coughs> made into now, some um, other account. Yeah, Honorable Katie, I'm on the uh, uh, co-chair. If you look at um, item three very critically, the ground stated therein, is illegal payment of oil revenues into offshore accounts in flagrant violation of Article 176 of the Constitution. But you see, Harun, and the Honorable Harun, Member... Harun is, the Honorable, very, Harun is a very intelligent man. You yes, know, I, I thought I you could know, answer this question I for do, himself. I do know, yeah, I do so know that... why is the chairman helping him? Yes, Good because you have, you have asked a question, and I want, yeah, us, I want, I want to bring us back to the issue that is before the committee, which is the violation. It is not about accountability. It is about a violation because a minister has a constitutional obligation to pay the money either into the uh, consolidated uh, fund, as the case may be, or in a fund created under statute specifically for that money. And in this case, it's a petroleum holding, I mean, a, a decent fund. And the minister did not comply with the constitution and the statutory obligation imposed upon him. That is what is on the floor before this committee. It is not about the fact that the, I mean, the monies were missing. So, Chairman, we are establishing that the minister did not demonstrate fidelity to the constitution and fidelity to the Petroleum Revenue Management Act 
PIAC further observes, and Chairman for your committee to take note, that the proceeds of lifting by Jubilee Oil should be paid into the Petroleum Holding Fund, uh, as the committee is convinced that the proceeds form part of Ghana's petroleum revenues. My chairman, what is important again is that it states, and that's PIAC, contrary to Section 6E -E of the Petroleum Revenue Management Act, Act 815 of 2011, capital gains, capital gains was not assessed and collected by the Ghana Revenue Authority in the sale of the 7% interest by Anadako in the Jubilee and Ten Fields in 2021. That's significant loss of revenue to the government if it was not done, if capital gains was not charged on it. In his written response to PIAC on the matter, the Ghana Revenue Authority referred the committee to the Ministry of Finance, to the Ministry of Finance, and for that matter, the minister responsible for finance must answer this, indicating that the ministry was exclusively in charge of the transaction. The Ministry of Finance was exclu exclusively in charge of the transaction. The Ministry of Finance in turn referred the committee to the Ghana Revenue Authority for answers. So you see 7% uh, capital gains tax. You are asked to walk around Ministry of Finance and Ghana Revenue Authority in order to be able to establish that. Honorable uh, Minority Leader, just for clarification, your yes. earlier reference was to the 2020 PIAC report. Now you have reference uh, 2021. Uh, and now it's 2022. Okay. Semi annual one, report. One, one thing at a time. So the latest reference is to the 2021. No, to yeah. the June uh, semi annual report on the management and use of petroleum revenues <coughs> for January to June 2022. Okay. So that is why you referred to earlier in the, in the morning as the half yearly. Absolutely. Absolutely. Thank you very right. much. That, so, just yeah. for that clarification. And uh, I would want that to be tended also and marked. Yes. And then, uh, Chairman. Um, I, I think on the list on number 12, there is PIAC Report 2022. The Honorable Member had referred to that. Is there another no. PIAC Report? Yes. <laughs> yeah, he mentioned three. So, so PIAC report from 2020, from for which number, which years are we talking about? No, on the on the no, list on the list provided by the proponents, uh, we have the PIAC reports for 2020, 2021, and the half year report for 2022. That is what is before this committee. Honourable Minority Leader, is that not correct? January to June, he said. Well, that's a different one. That's a, that's a different one. Rightly so, Chair. And very very and, well. Then you can yes, proceed. Yes. And, Chairman, so uh, I, I, I will need further evidence. Again, if you observe statutory mandatory obligations of the Minister for Finance, payments into National Health Insurance Fund, the Judicial Assembly Common Fund, the Ghana Education Trust Fund, the Constitution is specific that when these monies are paid, you pay them into those funds. That is also in breach and would lead, would lead evidence. We I want to relate that to Article 176. And the evidence our lead will be releases he has made to these funds, particularly for this year, is uh, uh, incredibly disappointing how much you go into statutory fund, even though he has those uh, receivable. Particularly what I emphasized earlier, uh, that by the ruling in the Kudu uh, matter on this assembly common fund, total revenue was properly defined, and therefore when you are doing the distribution, it should reflect it. Chairman, I intend now just to submit for your purpose Office of the President letter, seed money for the National Cathedral of Ghana, just to tender in evidence. Uh, wait a minute. You, uh, I keep saying that you are confusing us. What are we doing now? Are we doing the oil money, or we are doing cathedral, or we are doing which one? Yes, Arun. Go on. I've done that of the 
petroleum, the PIAC report. You finish with that. I finished with that. Not the but PIAC I should have tendered some letter from the Office of the President in evidence on the cathedral. So I wanted your authority to tender it in. There was some payment of 25 uh, mil, uh, uh, it will be appreciated that the Ministry of Finance could release an amount of 25 million US dollars as seed money to the National Cathedral. And then Chairman will tender in evidence, if you could recall, the hands out of 28 November 2018. Uh, Haruna, no, that's not what I'm interested in. I'm sure the Honorable, uh, if, uh, 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 our colleagues raised it to know the cost of running the Secretariat. This was raised. Uh, is attributed to even you, Chairman, Dr. Ayeni. You go to the hands side of 28th November 2018, you had brilliantly raised the issue, and I quote, Mr. Speaker, I would want to raise a critical issue of accountability that arose in the course of the presentation of the budget statement. Then you go further, Honorable Ayeni, Mr. Speaker, another critical question is, what is the cost of running the Secretariat for the entire duration of the construction of the National Cathedral? That has neither been stated in the statement of the Honorable Minister for Finance before this House, nor in the budget statement. So how were this money spent if they didn't have uh, parliamentary appropriation? And that's the constitutional breach we are pointing out. So this one is not on petroleum. I just wanted to tender this in evidence for the purpose of your committee. And if no, I have your no, endorsement. No, that's fine. So what? You finish with the, the oil one? Yes. You finish with the cathedral? When you ask someone, when you use words like, so what? That's no who good. So, who said so what? You. So what? what? How do you, you just said so that? No, 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 no. You said so, so what? About what? So what about what? You said it. I couldn't have because it's of no. Uh, you element. did. You did. You uh, did. If after a submission you say so what? No, no. I couldn't have because it's of no. Uh, and it has say, no relationship, Arun. Uh, and Chama, when and you so use, what has no relationship. Why you use words like that? The Arun, as is you following. listen to me, anybody here recall exactly what I meant? If I said it, that's so, so what? what? So what? Relating to what? I won't know. But I don't remember saying that. No, but I couldn't have said that because he hasn't said it. Honorable, Honorable KT Hammond, uh, yeah. Chairman, yeah. did you hear me say so what? Yes, I did. But uh, so what you said so, so, so what with respect to so, the point no, that we no, made. No, 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 so, no, no. So what, what are we coming back to? Yes. Uh-huh.